The sixth question that your story should answer is perhaps the most important, and it's the toughest one to convey. The question is, can I trust you? The reason this is difficult to convey is that you shouldn't be saying it yourself. If you're talking to a salesperson or you even listen to a speaker or a leader and that person says, trust me, you can trust me. What feeling does that convey in you? For most people, it's negative. They've been burned by too many people in the past who said, trust me. So how can you do this in your story? Do it through satisfied client dialogue. A quick example, my client, Patty, who I I've mentioned in other videos, when I first met her, she was distressed. She had to give a big speech. She was, com she was so afraid of, of embarrassing herself and her foundation. Well, we went through the process. She had a successful speech. And then a year after that, we were sitting down to lunch and she said, Michael, I can't thank you enough for the work that you did with me. You stuck with me in the beginning when I was really resistant to everything you were trying to teach me. And then I had that great speech. We got $60,000 for our foundation that night. And then here I am a year later, I'm raising money for a boys and girls club. We're going to make a million dollars. And I just can't thank you enough for sticking with me, teaching me these, these tools, these lessons on how to become a better speaker. And now I look forward to speaking. Isn't that different than me standing here on this video and saying, trust me, I'm a coach that you can believe in. And I've got all these great clients. Now, let your client brag about you and convey the trust. That's how you can answer this all important question. Question number six, can I trust you? In the next video, you'll hear the seventh and final question that Michael Haig suggests your story should answer if you want to earn the business of your prospective client.